Hello and welcome. I was trying to find a, a bag size so I can use like the old, you know, old part of it. The old page of the paper because I'm just so pretty. Them gorgeous for scrapbooking and that, but I tend to find it hard what to do. Well, you could put them in cards and that, but you know, what else? So I've made this is my little uh, one I've done before to see if it works with the sizes. So we've got, oh God, I think it's two inch there, then it's eight inch there, and then we can make one and put the old piece of paper there, kind of thing. If you know what I mean, and there's going to be a little twist at the end. So, right, that's the one I've done earlier, and I've done gold, handles, doily. Remember the rosettes I've done, art rosettes, with that fab paper I got from uh, the range. It's gorgeous. Right, so that was my little uh, practice. Love it. Turned out good. So. What I'm going to use, I'm going to use this meow. I'm sure that means, on I keep meaning to look it up. Uh, I'm going to use that from my DT package, Shell Smile Crafts. The links will be down in the description box to a shop. Right then, let's crack on. Now I'm going to do craft card. I'm just going to do, I've got 12 by 12 and you need two pieces. Craft card. And I'm going to score, score at two. 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 And now I think I scored at two again, actually. No, leave it at that. Oh, I've got to cut it down, eh? Aha. Uh -huh. Unless I could. No, I'm gone. So then we scored them at two, like so. Two there, two and two. So that's three sides, right? Then I'm just going to burnish. Sure, these aren't just a tad out of 12 inches, these are. I absolutely love cardstock. Right. And then fold that in there. And then you're going to... Oh, yeah. Right. And then you're going to go eight all the way down there. Oops. But this is a little tad bigger than eight, so that's why I've done that. And my other sheets, when I whipped them out... When I whipped them out, they really like ripped out. I don't come out clean. So if you do that, you know that's that's going to be eight there to there, and that's going to be fit your size of paper that you need in it. Okay, so that's going to go folded over, just to give it a bit more sturdiness. Okay. Now I'm going to do the bottom bit first because I know which one's two. Now with this one you want to cut each square out like that. Right, I think you can do that with that. More to that one there and the same with this one. Okay, so we've got a piece looking like that. Then we've got this piece here. Let's burnish this again. Because I'm going to glue this down. Now I have got, uh, this is similar to the uh, Easter one I've done. Oh, it's all Easter again, eh? Uh, I will leave the link down below because it's got a couple of pockets on that one. It's super cute. So I will leave that link there, down below to that one if you want to go and pop over and have a look at it. Because it is cute. It's got two little pockets at the front. Right. 
this one, as I say, I'm going to try something. I've not done it before. Should be okay. Right, now then. I'm going to glue that down like that. Make sure that's glued. That's going to be the top of the bag. Okay, warm here, I'm going to bend them over again. Just to get them leveled up. Okay. To get that burnished as well because it's thicker now because you've just layered it up now then right like that like that okay so that's one part of the bag okay simple simple let's just cut that off it's gone out a bit there and just knocking me yeah okay that's all right now, the other one you need is going to be, again, 12 by 12. So you're going to go two, roll tight, on three, all three sides, you're going to go two. Okay. Now, the one at the bottom, burnish that one. And then you're going to pop that in again and then score at eight. Okay, so that's going to be your top, and this is going to be the bottom bit again. Now, for this one, all you need to do is cut up to the first score mark, up to the first score mark. And then more to that bit out there. And that bit there, actually. Okay, then up to the first score mark. More to that little bit there. And that little bit there. So you've got one looking like that. Okay, then the same again at the top. Get that, give that good burnishing because I'm going to stick this one down again just to get a bit of uh, sturdiness and it looks better, I think, at the top of the bag. If you've got a little bit folded over, but give that a good burnishing. This is thick card, 280. I've had it from Amazon. So I ain't got no left. I just ordered some A4 as well. Because uh, there is something I want to do with A4. I've got a chance. But again, I've got to go to work in again in a minute. Right, now then. Let's fold that down. Give that a good burnishing. So it's stuck down. See so now. Now, see what I thought now was I could use the old piece of paper. Just leave it, give it a little border. And that's using the old paper, and you've got the old picture there now, yeah? Because these 8x8s, eight some of these papers are just gorgeous, are they? So, make sure that's good and burnished and dry. Okay. Then, you're going to 
Oh, what I banished in the first place, did I? Right, banish that. Give that a good burnishing because it's double thickness now at the top. Right, and this one. Actually, it's not that bad. It's burnished nice. Uh, I've done it before. Okay. And then you've got that bit now. So what I'm going to do is put, put glue on these two tabs here, bring them in and glue them to that. Okay. So on this one, glue. And then on this one, glue. Mortared that day, I so I'll make sure. Oh, you don't mortar that bit, don't matter, it's just that you want to get it squared. Because see, I've mortared that there, so I'll do the lung flap just to the squares. Okay, and that's like that. Then I'm going to bring this one into it so you got that one then that flat there you're going to push into there and then bring it up okay now these are the ones that you want to monitor because i've got to fit into that now i'm just going to give it a little burnish again hang on oh it's so very now as well now i'm going to put glue on that and that's going to fit into that So then, it's always broken out, you just can't hear things in the box. You went ballistic earlier on because there's two squirrels on the fence. Nipper's playing. That was rapid at the fence. <laughs> right then, now this bit's going to go into there, okay? So I'll just level it up and then give it a burnish. That's it. Now that's going to come up, up there like that. And then you're going to glue them two like that. Okay. So, more glue on here. Ooh. But the sun's really come out. I've had to put a towel up the window. Because it's trying to come through again at the bottom now. To keep moving it. <laughs> Now drop up, simple, simple as that, get it nice and level at the top, okay, and then squish, do them, and then use your bound folder to go inside. There we go, that's one side. That glue. Okay. Then the other side. Glue all on this bit. I hope you can see my tattoo so now because I did check it. I filmed it. This one keeps moving now. Oh. box when he's inside. Well I'll shut the door so I've got to leave the door ajar. 
Right, put that up there. And then make sure that's straight. And then burnish that one. Just give it inside and burnish it. Okay. Don't get lots of more to them two at the bottom. Don't matter. But you know. Let's get another good burnishing so it all sticks. Right, I'm just gonna see what my dog is doing. Right. I've cut this down. This is eight by eight, so I've cut it down to two two eighths off the width and the length. So I've just got a nice little border there now. Right, I bought this off Amazon. It was a boy bar, I think. And it's supposed to be refillable. So I, I must be able to refill that bit there. And it's permanent glue. So they keep buying them, you know what I mean? Right, and it seems alright, you know. I'm going to have to stand up. And then, so I've got to be quite accurate. Accurate. Oh. Accurate with this. No wiggle room really because of uh, okay. So that's cute. Hey, love these colours. Love the colours. Then I've put one on the back. I've already glued that on. Okay. After one of the papers again. Gorgeous. But. I'm going to do a twist, but these are my handles, so these are an inch by 12, and I'm just going to curl them with my brown folder. Okay, then I'm just going to score half inch on either side. That just gives me where I need to pull them and where the glue goes. Okay, so I've got them for after. Bring my box back and we're going to decorate it. I don't think I'm going to put anything on the sides. That is solid. Not so much that solid, but that. That is quite a solid box. Now, the twist is we're going to do a gift bag and we're going to do the card as well. But, let me see what I'm doing. We are going to put the card there. I'm going to glue that envelope, make a card, and pop it in there, okay? So I thought of something different here. So, I'm going to... Of course, you won't worry. Right. It's covering up this gorgeous paper, then. But, never mind. I'm just going to pop it there. Okay. Let's just make sure that's stuck down. Like right that. There we go. And all I'm going to do is put um, a bit of a double sided tape so you can peel off. I'm going to waste the Velcro because I'm too tight. I probably just, just took it off. Anyway. I've got these tags. I'm going to cut some of these out. I've cut one out. These are cute. Let's see what else we've got. I've got to do a card as well. I don't know whether to use that paper. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's too many to choose from. Right, let's embellish this now. Let's see what we got. That's pretty. Well, 
put my uh, perfume on. Just needs cutting off. Let's just curl. Come on. Bought these ages ago. <laughs> oh, that's covering up well, yeah. Charge your shoes there. Cover that up, put on the cover that up, yeah. Man. Yeah, okay. What can I do? Shall I paint them or what? Or just leave them woody? I hope you can see. Right, let's just go for it a minute. Let me just put that on there first. I'm not gonna. I'm not going to eat nothing, I don't think. I'm just going to put that on 3D now. Oh, this is a new one. This in 3D because I think it's oh, you won't believe just using a bit of dimension just to your project. Okay, how that gorgeous! Never might think about that. Oh, just said about you. I'll get me some more of these. What's this one's adding? <laughs> Hanging off. between them two okay okay I'm gonna stick this one down flat because I've got the other one on dimension okay I that gorgeous look at that Little rose, there. Right, we'll take this off. It's quite a good thick uh, dimension tape, actually. Oh, you know what I should be using? You know, when I use my farm board, I've got it behind all the extras. I was going to use it for dimension <laughs> instead of wasting it. But I'll be doing some towels. See that now? Just a bit of dimension. It's totally been loved it. I don't know what to take Lincoln. Just 
Wiggle it on it before I do any more damage. I can't tell. Some nuts on there. Okay. It's just this one. Let's just get it a little bit of interest so you put a bit of colour on it. Well, I'm going to put that on there. Oh dear me, sirens again. Love it. Now I'm just going to leave it a little bit. And go on to the card bit then. Let's need this. Alright. Right, I'm just going to pause you a minute. Right. I got me this paper. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, what's I using for now? So. Let's put to you as well. This is. I love it. I mean, long it will last now. So I am quite a teaser, Tessa. I can be a uh, glue happy right now, then. Okay. Now, I'm going to go glue this one flat. Okay, then I'll pussy cut that out. And I'm just going to layer them up. Okay, I'm gonna put that one on 3D. I'll keep having them. <coughs> oh, I think this has come to the end. Oh, I think it has. My new one. Stuck to my fingers now. Um, and then again. I get ready for work. I'll get too carried away in here. I'll pussy cut that out. And I've got my little distresser. I got it from eBay ages ago. Another thing I don't really use is stick with that. Right, 
in this as well. Put it at the bottom bit. Put a bit of glue. I can name the little doggies for their friends. Paws, I should say. It's alright, do you? I'm gonna put. I think I'm gonna need something like that there. There. Just lift it up a bit. That's it. I love that. I love that background. I love that ditch so It's gorgeous. Right then. So, let's put whack this on. Oh, chucked at that. They are the best at layering up. Love it. Isn't that pretty? Let's go with the box. Oh right then let's put some of these flowers on it. I'm gonna use three. God, if I have to do again. Such a dinky one, this is. Girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Which one? That one's in the middle, yeah. yeah. That one. Oh, that's cute. Right, let's put our handles on now. Hold on. So, what did I do? I put them on about two point two and a half. Don't hold that way. Sugar. It's okay. It's okay. I'm gonna make sure that's dried because you're gonna. Go against it when you're putting that one on. So make sure that is dry before you put the other one on. Let's put the other one on the other side rather. Again, I'm gonna. I'm putting it two put two and a half that end. The half end bit. And then. Make sure that's dried. Okay. I'm thinking I need happy birthday on that. Do I need something on here? I love that. I love that image. It's gorgeous. Right, let me just let them dry. I'm going to have some warm now. Oh, that was quite cool, this one. Anyway, right then, this one, I'm going to do, bring it to the back one like that. So, glue on that one again. And then I'm just going to measure it up a little bit. You ain't got it, but... 
just don't oh no five and a half eh oh god i am cocking up eh i could drop your cold seat but it was coming off pretty good it's good job eh okay then this bit blue again on that bit up scored end and then bring it round like that and then again five and a half here five and a half right there hold it hold it down What do I miss? Just made it worse now. Anyway, I must keep tatting. Put anything down there. I think it's really pretty. It's that pretty, are you? And then you've got the backing paper. Then you've got the card that goes in the back. Ain't that lovely? I'm gonna put nothing in there. Yep, I'm gonna pop that in there like so. I thought the dog knocked the door then. <laughs> right now, what I thought was. Instead of wasting a Velcro dot, because they might just chuck around here. Right, I'm just going to pull a bit of that on. There. So, I could peel that off and stick that down. So, that's that. Lovely. And then that's the bag. Oh, cute. Oh, what? Now, I am going to... Get a bit of uh, get a bit of this. Get it all in there. Oh, look cute. Look it. So that's me bag with my DT package and a little uh, card on the back. I think I look nice when it's shut, and then you can put your you know, whatever you're going to give in. Oh, that's gorgeous. And then that's the other one with the, the other paper. I did. So, yeah, 8 by 8 I love them. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. And thanks so much for watching. Take care. See you soon. All the links will be down below. Bye.